Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about how to do search in an array. Okay, like uh, I mean in JavaScript there are different helper methods available. Const array and if we get any random array there are many possible ways to actually find a particular element existing in an array or not. Like simple you can do a, a includes index of and find uh, like this is an object right and what we are doing we are just uh, iterating on to this object we got the names so in this object you wanted to do uh, you wanted to check if lion gorilla or monkey exist or not so what you need to do this is an object you have to do a map and just uh, return the string of an array of names that's it so here we are getting the names of string and here you can do includes index of and find now includes will return true and false always remember true and false index of returns uh, index if element is there otherwise it will return minus one and find find will return the object if element found so find you can directly apply on this object okay include an index of you will do apply on the particular string array okay here you can see i'm doing a find an element dot threat equal to five so the, it will return this particular object similarly filter filter will uh, it will just check uh, if particular uh, object particular item in this array is satisfying a particular condition of threat is five name is monkey return that only so it will create it will return this array of object only okay but if you wanted to cut so these all are actually a different ways of searching and finding element exist or not includes is more popular because it will return you true and false index of it will return minus one if not found and will return index if found okay so index of is we are simply doing on a particular string similarly you can also do one thing is you do iterate on, iterate on this uh, if i just talk about it i mean it's not like you can do includes an index of only on string you iterate this array we got the element right here you can put a condition here we can do filter okay we got the element and now based on one particular condition if so we got element element dot name if it is there element dot name dot includes here you can just say a particular string which you are looking for then you just need to return true otherwise nothing that is written false right so it will return you a single object inside an array with monkey similarly you can also do index of name dot index of if monkey is not equal equal to say not equal equal to minus one means we found this index so it will return that uh, yeah this is fine we are doing a filter here we are returning a boolean so that will be converted so index of includes and there is already a find method right simply find what it is doing in find also we are doing the same thing we are checking one particular property so find will return only one single object once whatever match has found so here we are checking if i dot i dot threat is greater than 5 so it will return all the objects which are satisfying this particular condition so it will be object array okay we are getting element we are accessing a property and then we are checking it so find will return uh, let me just check find should return only a returns the value of first element okay sorry it is going to return only a single object which is matching with this condition not multiple so i dot threat is greater than five so it will return this object only matching only one single condition if you want to return all you can do a simple filter okay if you wanted to just do a manipulation okay i do i just wanted to return only a uh, name then it will just give you a string array of names of all the animals okay so this is a basic search we are doing now what about like you got an array and now you wanted to do a binary search of a particular element linear search is nothing but iterate onto the array and like uh, here you can write this function const search here you got an array and item here you will just uh, loop onto this array 
for let i of array if i equal equal to item which you wanted to search then return true otherwise return false right it is just trying to find that element exists or not so this is the linear search now similarly if you have the array so the for binary search the constraint is array should be sorted right so what you can do is you can do a sort simply so this is what array we have now we are trying to do the binary search so binary search how it applies let's see this as an example Twelve of uh, seventeen, nineteen. Okay, the array length is if you if you can see, it is the array length. Okay, if I if I wanted to search a particular element which is uh, fifteen. Okay, let's see. This is the fifteen. So what I will do? I will try to get the mid of this array. Okay, mid of this array means let's say uh, I have one more element. Let's say consider uh, these are odd elements for now. So the mid of the element is twelve. So fifteen is greater than twelve or not? If yes, then we are actually reducing the array size to this. We already know that we can't get fifteen in this particular section because these all elements are lesser than fifteen. So our problems are reduced like this. Initially we have to do search on n, then we are doing search between n by two, and then we are doing search in between n by four. So the complexity which you are going to go get is n log n. So this is optimized approach, right? This is called binary search. And how we apply it? You can actually do a recursion call. Recursively, you can call a particular method, or you can actually uh, sing, run a simple loop. So let so here const search, and I have an array. So inside this, I will get array and uh, the element I wanted to search, start index and end index. Start index and end index will be zero and n minus one initially. Okay, if start is greater than and which is not possible, if it is, if you are passing any wrong data, then return false. Otherwise, let mid. You will get the mid of it. Why it is throwing warning? Sorry. Okay, so we are trying to get the middle of it. So what we will do is mat dot floor. We will just do a start plus end, and we will do a divided by two, and we will do a floor of it. Okay, here we will just check if uh, array of mid. This is the mid index we have received, equal equal to the element which we are looking for. Then return true. Otherwise, our search will continue. Okay. Here we will check check if array of mid. This is very basic algorithm which everybody is aware. If this is the case, then we will recursively call this function search again. And we'll pass array. Okay, array of x. The index will change. Start will be start mid minus one. What it is saying is, if array of mid is greater than x, means this is to be found in the first part of an array. Otherwise, we have a reverse other condition, which is this element exists in the second half of the array. So we will do a mid plus one. And end of the index. Okay, simple. This is a recursive, so it will just return true or false if it is coming up. Otherwise, you can also do a same thing using just a simple while loop, no recursive call. What we are doing here is, so if I try to explain, start and end index we have. Okay. Why the color fades? Okay, so here. We are getting start and end index. We got the mid, 
right we are running this until start is less than or equal to end so every time we are checking mid otherwise we are just increasing the index start with mid plus one or end index with minus one if arrow of mid is less than x which we are looking for if or x is greater than arrow of mid means our start index need to reset with plus one so it is like this consider is it a sorted array yeah so if mid is 12 and we are looking for 17 or 19 then we will just compare if mid x element is greater than array of mid then we will start looking inside this particular array so mid is mid plus one okay and we will again do a start end by two because this while loop will keep running and we will keep checking if start end by two if element is there in the mid or not otherwise uh, again it will be a second half then we will check in the second half of an array now we got the new array right from this new array we will again check if the element is in the first half or second half and we are just getting index we are comparing the index and based on that array of mid mid element right so this is how uh, we keep checking the elements okay so we are just resetting this array of mid and start and end index we are just updating based on the condition and then we keep comparing if nothing is found then return false if array of mid comes at with equal to x then we are returning true okay this is a binary search we had a linear search other than that we have a lot of other methods to do the same thing in javascript but this is an algorithm searching algorithm binary search so you should use this okay That's it. Thanks everyone.